Suppose we have a fillet here and we want to use exactly the same parameters down here. Now if this has got history on it, that's quite easy to do. We can just go into object edit, query edit this fillet and it comes up with the fillet function that was used. So all of the parameters are exactly the same as we used for creating that fillet. And we can just simply say next, pick the two surfaces that we want and build a new fillet. Now what happens if that hasn't got history? So let's just delete all of the history. Delete construction history there. So we haven't got history on there. We can't do a query edit. But what we can do is if I go and pick that surface there and then I go into surfaces and I want to fill it that or fill it the other two surfaces. If I double click on the um, surface fill it there, it says found surface fill it metadata on picked object load stored options and it's come up with the, the menu with all the parameters that we use to create that surface and the reason it's done that is because when I created that fillet I had create metadata switched on so that's all you have to do uh, to enable you to reuse those parameters even when you haven't got history so if I say yes then I can just pick those two surfaces and create the fillet much like I did with query edit so all is not lost if you haven't got history on as long as you've got create metadata on then for future use you'll be able to reuse those parameters of that function and the same applies for all other functions for example MS draft we've got create metadata so it's definitely advisable to have create metadata switched on on all of your functions